Hi everyone. So we are discussing in continuation to the topic that was already being discussed, which was space maintainer. Now uh, today the types of space maintainer that we'll be discussing, uh, you will see that uh, they are bilateral. That means uh, they are saving the space on both the sides of the arch, as you can see on the screen also. So now let's let's start. The first that you can see, this kind of a space maintainer, it's called as a lingual arch. Okay, it's put in the lower jaw, and it's usually uh, put when the space of the tooth or teeth that has been lost is bilateral. That means when you have to save space on both the sides. Okay. So the lingual arch is uh, designed such that it follows the arch contour, right? And uh, those bands that you can see, those stainless steel bands, they are uh, usually fitted on the permanent molar, okay, for anchorage, for support. Now, this lingual arch has also got some um, modifications, see like this this lingual arch this is also a lingual arch but if you can see in this lingual arch we have u loops on both the sides the idea behind incorporating u loops is it increases the length of the wire that has been used now when the length of the wire is increased it increases the flexibility and it decreases the force that is being applied but because the space maintainers are passive appliances, that means they do not exert any active force on the tooth, then in that case, incorporation of U-loops does not have a major uh, role or does not have any demarcating role. But yes, a modification of such a kind also exists and that is why I have in included this also so that you are aware of this thing that yes, this kind of an appliance is also a space maintainer. So another modification was the same lingual arch but with an incorporated U-loop. Then there is another uh, modification uh, that can be done with regards to lingual arch and that is when you have a distal shoe that is soldered to the already existing lingual arch that means another modification of a lingual arch is wherein you have a lingual arch with distal shoe appliance so again distal shoe in itself is a space maintainer lingual arch in itself is a space maintainer but if such a situation arises wherein you require to save the space or to maintain the space of the lost teeth on both the sides and you also need to guide the unerupted tooth wherein you feel that distal shoe will do the purpose so in such a case we incorpor incorporate the design of distal shoe with lingual arch appliance to make it a modification of lingual arch appliance if you want to know what is distal shoe appliance i have discussed in detail in my previous video i'll put the link in the description box for that too then Okay, now this is the space maintainer which is used in the upper arch. All those space maintainers that I discussed in this video before this space maintainer was to be used in the lower arch. Now, discussing about the transpalatal arch space maintainer. This space maintainer, obviously as can be seen in the picture also, is used in the upper arch because obviously you cannot use it in lower arch. Why? Because you have tongue in this area in the lower arch. So, you cannot have it in this position in the lower arch. That is why we, we use this when we require to save space in the upper arch. And when you require to save space on both the sides of the arch, that means on both the sides, on either sides of the midline, then in that case, you use a transpalatal arch space maintainer. Transpalatal is the name because it is extending across the palate. So, that is why a transpalatal arch space maintainer. So, there is one, uh, the most uh, common design of this kind of a space maintainer is wherein you have a U-loop in the center. Um, I even have a picture of that wherein there is just one, uh, like 
it extends across the palate without any U loop in the center. We'll see that later also. Then the same design of uh, transpalatal arch, but it also has an acrylic button as you can see over here. See, this is also extending across the palette. So this is also a transpalatal arch space maintainer only. But the difference is, yes, its contour is different and also there is an acrylic button. So this acrylic button is providing extra support. It is taking its extra support through the uh, palatal bone or the premaxillary bone as you can see. Okay, then now see, as I mentioned before, no. Uh, that uh, we have a transpalatal arch wherein there is no U loop in the center. See, this is the design that is there. So, this is just a single uh, straight wire that is running across the palate with no U loop. So, this is also a modification of transpalatal space maintainer. So, again, uh, it can be used to save space and also one more thing uh, see as you can see in this picture there's no tooth loss i mean there's no space that needs to be preserved right but still we are using a transpalatal arch space maintainer so that means you also hold it for retention purpose that means when you've, you when you've expanded any arch and you need to uh, keep it expanded in that position for that situation also such a kind of uh, appliance that is the transpalatal arch can be incorporated so that's it um, I hope you found it useful and it was understandable because my main intention uh, behind making all of these videos is to educate a layman, to educate parents uh, so that they are aware when they are getting their children treated by any dentist. Okay, take care.